Does the transfer window in general affect the dressing room and not just the individuals who are getting talked about? Um, I think interest-wise, yeah. Um, uh, and I think sometimes it's when, it's, it's when you get the chain reaction, when you see certain players sat outside certain football clubs, uh, agreeing deals, agreeing personal terms, and for, for it all to be scuppered because somebody else down the chain or down the line hasn't agreed, and, and that has a knock-on effect because you know, so they can only buy one person if they get one person out, and if that person doesn't go here, doesn't go there. So, and again, yeah, sometimes it can... Uh, it can affect three, four, five players uh, for one person not uh, not moving on in the in the direction that seems necessary. So uh, it creates a little bit of interest. It's um, good good TV. Um, I think it's uh, it's developing quite a uh, quite a profile. Um, is it riveting for myself? No, not really. But I've had to get uh, Colin West won't be up at eleven o'clock. Goes it's it's all over. Like, all right. <laughs> that was it. What's happening on Big Brother? <laughs> what about for yourself now, Keith? How much does your job change in the weeks that are coming from what it's been the last four or five weeks with the phone calls and negotiations? You've been no, nothing. Uh, my focus has always been exactly the same. Um, you, uh, we probably have um, uh, an hour and 15 minutes after the game where we sit down, myself, Colin West, uh, and the, the other members of staff, we sit down, we watch the DVD after the game. Uh, and then, so and that's the enjoyable bit. Uh, and then we start preparing um, for the next opposition. Uh, Stretch out on the phone to to Lee Dykes, uh, who's, who's always been at the the next game opposition, and we start pl plotting and planning uh, straight away. So uh, so we have an hour and fifty minutes of enjoying the result uh, if we're successful, uh, and then the focus is straight away on uh, how we're going to get the next win. Did you get close to any? Did any slip away on the incoming side of things? No, nah, because this one knows I, I, I know where I'm shopping. Uh, when's it when picnics and then yeah, obviously you have to make the um, you talk a little bit of football first of all to representatives and then you start to and then you have to t talk about that horrible thing that uh, like players wages uh, and then as soon as you mention the, or as soon as they mention what they're looking for or, or the the region of what they're looking for it's one of those forget about it uh, so, so, so it's, but, but it's, it's, sometimes it's better that than, than taking somebody to the garden path uh, and trying to negotiate, uh, if, you, if you're talking a couple of hundred quid, yeah, there can always be room for manoeuvring. But when you're talking a lot of money out, you're thinking, no, no. Not, not, the, not the player that I value at that money. Just finally for me on the reserve game today, uh, I know all of the football staff go to all of these reserve games. Is that sending a message to the players that this is serious? Oh, yeah. Uh, every, every game that we organise, there's a there's rhyme and reason behind it. It's not just uh, you know, go and have 90 minutes, because if we just wanted 90 minutes, you could go and play against the kids. Um, so it's an opportunity and, and uh, playing against good opposition if, uh, from a higher level. Again, I think the um, people would have thought, well, well, what benefit could you get out of the you know, going to the castle and getting beaten 8 0, which is in the, the first reserve game? Uh, Stephen Rigg. Um, Prime example for, for the, we've got some of the young players here, again that, that are going joining in. We'll, we'll play some part. But we try and make sure that uh, we all have a sprinkling of the youth players uh, that Alan Moore recommends um, are ready um, for that step up for us to for us to go and engage in them because it's important we, we see them not only in their own environment. It's important when the young lads come up, we see them in our environment playing playing against pros, uh, and it's part of their development as well. So, no, it's um, always get something out of a game of football, even if it's sometimes it's a, a set play from the opposition. Sometimes you think, oh, I, I like that, can I work on that?